So to, in today's lecture, we are going to talk about uh, design very circuits uh, of operation amplifier using the circuit maker. So I'm using this document, and if I hope you have this one, and if you don't have, you can email me, you can message me your email ID so that I can uh, forward you the document. So we are going to discuss various circuits, including. Uh, Inverting amplifier, non-inverting simple amplifier, then inverting feedback, non-inverting feedback, uh, then um, uh, integrator also. So these are uh, very general circuits uh, of using operation amplifier that we are going to use. So right now on the screen you can see uh, the circuit maker. Uh, if you want to install, uh, my uh, the document is having step by step process and the link from where you can download. Uh, so once you download this is the page you are going to see on the screen now what we are going to do is for example go for this question in this question the uh, what we have to do is we have to design an open loop single ended amplifier by single ended what we mean is only one input will be there and we have to do for both inverting terminal and non inverting terminal another important thing in the question is the input signal is 10 microvolt so for example as you can see on the screen for inverting terminal this is the section this is the circuit this is the input can you, you can see from the arrow and the output that you will see is uh, something like this similarly for non-inverting it is there so let us uh, directly jump to the circuit maker and design a circuit as you can see on the screen the important things are one uh, signal uh, you have to use it one operational amplifier of course you need this meter of course you don't need because you will visualize your output in the graph so it is optional you can use it you may not use it uh, so let's go ahead uh, so in this uh, since we are going to use uh, op amp op amp we can find in this section amplifiers op amp and there are various types but since we are talking about basic introduction let us go for this one so here we are we have got an op amp what else we need we need a signal in for the input for that we have go to the instruments go ahead and you will find instruments here signal generated this is the place from where you got your signal now what else you need you need grounds so we will go to general sources and you see if you need battery is simple we you can get it from here but we are using a ac signal so we have to go to the instruments now ground uh, i will take two because even you can use one but to make the circuit more simple i am going to use two fine now to collect in the output we need a register so i will go and so what is the way just double click on what you want and you will see it now you can move it by the help of your cursor so here we are now in the top section there are a few important things for example if you want to make a connection you see this plus sign if you want to run you have to use uh, you have to press here so fine now we have got all the things to uh, make it look good maybe you can rotate so that uh, it will look more presentable okay so uh, uh, since we are talking about inverting terminal uh, op amp uh, what is important is that the signal should be applied to the inverting that is negative terminal now we will use this plus to connect these various components for example move this cursor uh, you can see this just pull it till this point now these are connected now the second terminal will be grounded so i will pull it like this since we are using only inverting terminal the another terminal of the open must be grounded if you keep it open you will not get what you are looking for so our input is connected we need a register uh, always to connect our output so this is the connection for that and this register another terminal is again connected to the ground now we have made our circuit again put on the arrow so make sure that once your connection is done just put on the arrow so that you can move it easily now we i will make it a bit up so that you can see it clearly in this case one of the important thing was the value of a signal was one micro volt but as you can see the value of the signal is one volt so i will make double click 
and the peak amplitude is the place uh, we have to be careful uh, one microvolt means i can say is zero zero five zeros then one then click on ok see this value has changed now i have not changed the frequency just the value or the amplitude of the signal now as i have told you if you want to run see click on this if you click on this now your circuit is running now what you want to see just take this thing to uh, point to the place now i want to see the input signal i am putting it and uh, doing a left click of the mouse you see one microvolt is the signal that you are getting in the input now where will be output of course this is point or this pin is the output so now you keep your cursor and make left click say this 100 millivolt now the question is why it is 100 millivolt if your input is uh, one micro and output is 100 milli means it is 10,000 times higher because if you study the characteristics of an op amp the gain of an op amp is 100,000 so if you apply or if you multiply one microvolt into 10,000 10, sorry 100,000 it will be 100 milli so this is how we are able to perform in the same way you can uh, reverse the connection or you can apply your input on the plus side and make negative grounded so what you will see your signal will there will be no invert why this is called inverting terminal because if you compare the phase see this is plus minus in the input see this this a is the meter which tells that your signal is plus minus but if you go to output it is opposite minus plus because your input is in the inverting terminal so this is the way you can uh, make your first experiment so um, let's move ahead in the next example uh, i have taken uh, the question is design an open loop double ended amplifier using circuit maker and prove that output will be zero if same input is applied what it means is if you apply same signal in both of the inputs of the op amp your output will be zero and as you can uh, see here these are the inputs and your output is here it is you see on the line zero it means there is no output we have to prove it so let's go for that okay now i will stop this this is a way to stop as uh, you can see i have got one more source for the same value one microvolt but the only difference is that before uh, this non-inverting was grounded but i'm applying the same signal to this terminal also and since both of the inputs are zero your output must be, uh, since the both of the inputs are same your output should be zero now again let us run this you see uh, first signal is like this second one microvolt second like this but if you see your output as you can see it's zero i hope it's uh, simple and clear in this example now uh, that is question number three the question is design a given non-inverting feedback so far our amplifiers fair open loop but now we've got a feedback because you see a part of output is given back to the input we have to design a feedback having gain of 10 so you must be aware of the law that uh, for feedback circuit like this your gain is 1 plus rf by r1 since uh, we are looking for a gain of 10 and already we have one here so rf is uh, 9 kilo ohm and it is 1 kilo ohm let's take like this so 9 by 1 will be 9 plus 1 10 one more thing to uh, we'll follow this example let's make our input as 1 millivolt now let's go to circuit meter and make our circuit again now go back to the circuit and be careful in this case our input is in the positive terminal and feedback is in the negative terminal this is a very important point now go back to the circuit maker since our input voltage is one microvolt sorry one millivolt so we will uh, change this 0 0.001 we have to be very careful uh, in choosing this 
now as we have told that our we have to apply our input in the positive terminal I'm connecting this to the positive terminal on a terminal will be of course grounded and as we discussed earlier our two registers are since we need a gain of 10 RF by RI should be 9 so RF is 9 kilo and RI is 1 kilo so the uh, top one and the upper one is 9 kilo so here you can double click and change the value so I have make it 9 kilo this is 1 kilo fine and to make uh, this circuit more simple we will connect a meter from where we can get meters go to the instruments here go to the multimeter and click it here now by multimeter let's keep it like this now what we will do we will connect the output of this multimeter to this op amp and another terminal will be grounded be careful when you are making connection that you cannot keep anything open there will be a problem so it is done now we have got two registers so uh, again I will see this uh, circuit so you see uh, I will connect register to the output to the second one and this one will be grounded now the most important thing is the negative terminal will be in between these two register yes I think we are almost done let's make it simple and connect it here and we have made it 1 millivolt it is 9 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm hope we are done and now we will run this and you know where, how you can run just click on this and see our input signal it is 1 millivolt and we have designed our amplifier for gain 10 so what I expect is your output here should be 1 into 10 that is 10 millivolt see this it is 10 millivolt means we are able to draw a feedback amplifier having gain of 10 so this is the last example for today in this we have to design an inverting amplifier and again we are looking for a gain of 10 so in this case this is the circuit theoretical circuit and this is the formula for the gain and it is minus rf by ri since we are looking for a gain of 10 we can make it it is 10 kilo ohm and then it will be 1 kilo ohm and the circuit will look something like this so again let's move ahead to the circuit maker and make our connections again uh, look carefully to the circuit now these are the two registers go to the circuit maker if you want to rotate and just uh, right click rotate 90 degree it will look like this right click 90 degree and it will be like this so this is the place for our input register and this is the place for our feedback register now we have to connect the things uh, also make it somewhere here since we are using inverting feedback uh, to connect the circuit use on this plus sign our input will go to the op amp uh, through this register now our output this feedback register is connected now we'll connect our meter somewhere here and our feedback register will be here now one important thing that you must not forget is we are looking for a gain of 10 so it is 1 kilo ohm and it should be 10 so double click make it to 10 kilo ohm here we are we cannot lift it open you see our positive terminal is not grounded so again this way you can make it ground I hope we are done now what we will do we will just run and this is the place from where we can run you can see this run analog simulation click on this our input is here you can see the value 1 millivolt and this is the place for output 
see the value 10 milli volt it is of course 10 time and another difference your input is uh, plus minus plus minus but your output is minus plus this is the reason uh, the reason for the same is because you are applying your input over here so this is the way we can solve so that is uh, enough one more example is there in this document and that is uh, homework for you you can try and if there is something uh, let me know but the question is design an integrated circuit this is the circuit in the field you've got a capacitor a register and uh, if you will connect you know the behavior of integrator if you apply square in the input you will get triangle in the output this figure is not complete and it is not clear but it will be a triangle so you can design the circuit the only thing you is new for you is capacitor where you will get capacitor so you can go to general capacitor just select the first one and uh, hope it's enough for today and uh, you can go through the document and if you want uh, uh, if you have any queries i'll be happy you can add your queries in the comments i will try to answer that's all thanks bye